So I've been working with leadership teams for a good 20 years now, uh, working with executive leadership teams, building high performing leadership teams and training leaders, thousands of leaders. I have a master's in coaching psychology and I'm just passionate about really transforming people and companies through leadership. Well, through being in consulting, working with a whole lot of companies, I just saw time and time again that if the leadership group of the business was not aligned, then everything that they were trying to do didn't work. So it just became such a simple thing for me to say, if I can fix that, I can see that so many companies and people will be more satisfied and fulfilled and more successful. So I believe in a growth mindset. So I think if people are open to learning and growing, then that's sort of the baseline. Um, and then I, th I believe in collaboration because I think if we work as a team and we work as a team, we'll always get a much better result. And then I believe in making leadership practical because if you make leadership practical, then great outcomes can come about. Well, I think because there's so much volatility and uncertainty, there's, you know, lack of clarity. And so people need to have more clarity around direction, particularly, and connection to purpose. And then with that, the whole leadership agenda has changed. Leaders need new behaviours to deal with different situations, and I can see that significantly changing. And as a result, you know, there are a whole lot of things that we need to leave behind or kind of unlearn to be setting new ways of working. Um, so, I, and I think that all then culminates in being really clear with leaders about what they need to do to prioritise to make the next stage work. Probably the main ones are people, I get a bit of what from everyone I think and you know it doesn't have to be necessarily per person I've worked for it's people I work with and they each you know inspire me in a different way and so you know I think what I learned early though is consistency is key so if you if people are really consistent on the way they lead they'll generally set up a consistency into the rhythm of the business which is then creates greater certainty and clarity for everyone so there's one particular leader that taught me that very well at an early stage. I'd have to say from good to great. I mean, that whole shift from going like from where are we now to where we want to be, um, you know, the whole hedgehog concept of aligning what you're passionate with, what your strength is, with what the greatest opportunity is and being, and that informing your purpose has been, I don't know, I think I knew that already, but it was sort of grounded me in something that I've used a hell of a lot with a lot of leaders successfully. Be the change that you want to see in others. One surprising fact, well, I, I, I do like contrasts in people generally, so I, um, I, I kind of like diversity, and I, so I think on one side, I'm, um, I'm passionate about learning and developing, um, so I'm constantly always learning, and one thing I'm always learning, to trying to learn about is people, um, but I think from a background point of view, I speak French, so not many people know that about me. <laughs>